right, welcome back to my channel. And today I wanna share with you the tools that I use to record YouTube videos. Now, these are very simple tools, right? This is just like if you're just getting started and you wanna make some cute videos, a lot of the stuff I'm gonna share with you today, you can actually use it with your smartphone to record your videos right on your camera. And these tools will help you enhance what you record on the camera. So let's get straight into it. When I do vlog style videos of like when I'm traveling, if I'm going somewhere and I wanna show the locations, I wanna show myself walking around, I like to just use my camera. I mean, this is the simplest way. The reason why I like using it for vlogging or showing outdoor stuff is because when you're around a lot of people, People are used to seeing people with their camera and taking pictures, whereas if you start walking around a crowded marketplace and you're like, there's people there and then you start shoving a camera in people's face, they're going to look at you like, what are you doing? So this is the reason why when I do vlog or travel videos, I like to use my regular phone. And what I do is I just make it like this horizontal so that I can take the video from here and then put it on my computer and then edit it there. Now, when I do talking head videos, I like to use the Sony ZV-1F camera. This is because it has features that make it very simple to look professional. This Sony camera that I use, it has something called the beauty effect, which is smooths out my skin. So I don't have to worry about my pimples showing in the camera because it gets rid of it for you. It has a special setting that actually does that. And that's actually why I bought that camera. So for you girlies out here, if you wanna look a certain way, this is just a really good camera for that. And I actually have a link to the camera in the description of this video and all the equipment that I'm sharing with you today. So if you wanna get that, there are some links to help you make it super easy to get it. All right, the next thing I use and which I highly recommend you use is a tripod. I use the Joby tripod. It's super convenient. It's very, it's small, it's very compact. You can put it in your purse. You can put it in, like if you're traveling, put it in your book bag. You can put it in a, in a suitcase, very simple. And I use it for going everywhere. Even if I'm just going to like a cafe and I wanna do like reels, it is super lightweight. You can take it anywhere. So highly recommend you check that out. Now, something else you need to have, okay? If anything, this is like one of the most important things. If you're gonna use a camera like the Sony one I just shared, you're gonna wanna have these battery charges chargers okay this is a special charger that allows you to charge two batteries at a time if you can get one that has three sections here then you know do it because what I found was that when I first started filming YouTube videos the battery on the camera used to die and then I had to wait plug it in like plug one one battery at a time wait for that to take like an hour to charge and it was like my whole day was gone trying to charge these batteries. So what I do now is I charge two batteries at a time. This allows me to continuously film without getting interrupted. Another tool you can use is, and this is optional, you do not have to do this, but it works really well with my iPhone or any type of smartphone, is to use this uh, little mic right here. And you can even clip the mic here on top of you, or you can just talk, you know, I don't know if you see a lot of people now, a lot of creators are doing these talking head videos and they're just using their microphone. These are really helpful. I do have a link to these in the description of this video, so also check that out. Oh, and one more thing I really like that with your smartphone. This is a wireless uh, mic, so all you have to do is take the like adapter and plug it into your your iPhone like this. And then all you have to do from there is just like connect this, it's like a button you press, it'll sync with this adapter here. And then this way you could like walk this, you know, far away from your phone and you can still, it could pick up the audio anyway. So this is really simple to use, it's really simple to set up. Okay, let's talk about lighting. So with the lighting, I like to use daylight, natural light from the window of wherever I am, whatever room I, I'm in, I try to use the natural light. I find like it just looks brighter and cleaner and natural. Sometimes when you use like lights, it's like glaring and you gotta do a lot when you use lights. Like <laughs> you gotta have like the three point system where you have one light up here, one here, one there. So if you just wanna have a simple, set up record by the window okay just find a window and just start recording like keep your life easy another thing you can use is you can just get a simple ring light which can be very simple to set up you just plug it in and click on a button and it'll just give you the light now if you want to be a little bit more advanced i have this other light called the newer led light and it's like an led light and it's a little bit it gives more it's more powerful it had it's brighter it'll make the room brighter um and i have two of those and this is like next level, so like 
if you're just getting started, don't worry so much about that one. But if you already kind of like in your journey and you want to have more advanced equipment, then think about investing in that one. And it does cost a little bit more money, but if you're on a budget, you can just start out with a simple ring light that you can get on Amazon. And I do have a link to a ring light that I use. So make sure you check that out. Now, once you have your video, you recorded it and you're ready to edit, right? You can do simple editing using a tool like CapCut, which you can use on your phone or you can use it on the desktop. I personally prefer to edit my videos on the desktop because I also do freelance and consulting and I do uh, brand sponsorship uh, videos and content because I, you know, I get paid for my content. And so when I'm working with a client, I like to do it on the desktop because I can easily share the content with the client when it's on my computer. But you don't have to. You can use CapCut on your phone and edit your YouTube videos. Also, CapCut is really simple to use to create short form video for Instagram Reels, TikTok, YouTube Shorts. Now, personally, I like to use iMovie because I have an Apple computer, so I use iMovie. Um, it's really simple, it's very easy to use, and I just prefer it. That's just my preference. I prefer it. Now, I do use CapCut for, like I said, short form video, Instagram Reels, and stuff like that. But yeah, I prefer to use iMovie, so if you have an Apple or Mac, check that out as well. Now, if you want to be next level, you can use this stand here. This is like, <laughs> this is a tripod, but it's like a really, it's really tall. So it's, it goes all the way up. Like, so when you start getting more advanced, if you want to do like outdoor stuff, you know, the Joby tripod I share with you is good for vlogging, but it's not that tall. And I like this one. So this is really tall. It's sturdy. And also like... If you're eventually gonna upgrade in the future, you don't have to do it now if you're just getting started, but at some point if you wanna start using more advanced cameras that are a little bit heavier, this is the one. This is the professional <laughs> photography and filmography, filmmaking uh, stand that people use. So I like it because you know I'm a creator, so I wanna have the best. So that's what I use as well. All right, so if you like this video, make sure you subscribe. Also, check out this next video all about how to grow on YouTube and monetize. All right, I will see you later and take care.